Hello, welcome back! In our last video, we talked about the package and what you get in the box when you order an inverter charger from Santrex, more precise the Freedom XC2000. In this video, we're going to look at the installation, so we're going to see how you actually put everything in place. In the last video, I talked about reading the instruction manual, that it was important to get all the stuff you needed before you actually start. Uh, now I'm sitting here trying to find some screws, because it turns out that I didn't really plan out the installation, so I haven't found all the screws for mounting the inverter charger on the wall. So while I try to sort that out, I'm going to have a brief intermission, and then you'll join us back over where we're actually going to put the inverter charger, and we'll start installing it. So I'll see you soon. So this is our nav station and on the back side of it here is what we gloriously call our electronics locker. Inside here is where the Santrax Freedom XC2000 is gonna live. First of all, we're just gonna put it up, mount, mark the holes and uh, mount it. But important to consider when you choose your space for the inverter charger is that it should have enough room for the fans and to have proper air circulation inside the unit. It should have a decent amount of space both in front and behind the unit. So that's good to consider and we think we found a pretty good location for it here. Like any good TV chef, I already cleaned up all the cables and kind of prepared a space for it. This is the grounding wire, and that goes up here. It's working! So we have decided to put the panel for the Santrex remote right here. So we have a little old hole here that we can cover with the remote. Just making sure that the template looks like it's actually lining up with the remote panel. And that looks perfect. Okay, that was sweaty. And uh, now we have a hole in the boat, so now we're gonna try to run the string over there so we can get the cable through. Oh, almost. Oh. And now we have the string, so let's see if we can't make a nice little knot around the cable. Cable goes in. Cable comes out. We have a cable. Cable lives there. There we go. So we have 13.4 volts. The batteries are full. It's inverting. And we have power to the lights. I think that means we're in business. So, 
that concludes our second video. We have installed our Freedom XC2000 from Santrax, an inverted charger. We've shown you how we install it on our boat. And in the next video, we will show you how to use the inverted charger and give you our opinion on how it's working for us. So stay tuned for that one and see you then. Mm -hmm.